Hi Virgo and welcome to your May reading. Pardon if you hear the thunder. Um, but this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus. However, whoever clicked on this video for whatever reason you decided to click on this video, just understand that there is no such thing as a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? And so you were brought here for a particular purpose to hear a certain message um, and so I hope you hear all that you need at this time and definitely do subscribe before you leave um, this month just so that you guys can be in the loop I don't want to surprise anybody what I've done or what ha I have been led to do rather is um, shuffle the cards as I normally do but only allow for one central card to come out and that be the theme you focus on for the upcoming month of May. Um, just testing something new out but I feel like it can get really overwhelming and even be distracting when you're looking at multiple images and especially if you're new to tarot and astrology trying to interpret them for yourself, learn them for yourself. So. Um, I'm going to try this. Do give me some constructive feedback in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So as I was shuffling the cards and as I was meditating on your energy, it is very much like the weather outside. Kind of pretty somber, you know, and aside from the card that came out, which for those that just can't wait any longer it was the star card but um as the star card was shown the queen of wands and also the ace of cups wanted to be shown so i definitely have the sense of you guys wishing upon a star for potentially a fire sign aries leo sagittarius to uh, come back into your life or for that love to be restored within uh, a certain relationship because the three of coins also was kind of in the mix there um that has gone awry um you're, you're wanting to have more harmony or more balance or it, it feel more cooperative um in the month of may bottom of the deck i have never seen this card before you have the justice card so um if you feel like somebody has pushed you to the point of no return is what i'm hearing then do understand with all of the planets going retrograde especially the uh is it saturn that is retrograde as well saturn pluto and i can't think of the other one but i do know that there are three but all the things that you have been really working hard on um as far as the things that you've been trying to cut back as far as working on uh refining what your strengths have been over the past year and really since last year i believe um the last time it was retrograde was around october time frame so even what you were working on then um and really putting in the concentrated effort and focusing on uh either delegating out to other people who have the strengths that are your weaknesses or just deciding not to invest too much of your time um, and mental effort into uh, because for what if you know that it's not something that you can work on to uh, kind of improve upon then there really is no sense in sitting there okay certain seeds that you have planted they are duds you know that's why they give you so many in a pack when you go to the store and you decide that that is what you want to try next right if you have a green thumb or just have an appreciation for growing plants or for growing fruit and vegetables um, and trying to be more sustainable and economically friendly or environmentally friendly in that way then you know that geez yeah but then you know that um, they give you about a good hundred seeds for you to try and plant and of that hundred you might have three viable seeds that come of that um, and so you, you're really understanding that mentality, but as well for the things that you've put so much of yourself into um, that you tried to restructure in a way that just wasn't working. If it was by the hands of another person that you've been involved with and they've caused you again some sort of physical pain, just understand that you will be, um, uh, what is that called, rewarded for that suffering. Um, and sometimes that suffering or that reward comes from being in a period of isolation and being by yourself. Sometimes the freedom that you are looking for and 
sometimes the freedom that you are looking for is in the cry that you need to have and that release of emotion that you've had pent up or bottled up um there definitely has been a drought in your life for the past year for some of you guys if things are going well then this of course can be interpreted differently but with this star energy here and if this is not an aquarius uh, or you having heavy aquarius uh, placements in your natal chart that you have to also take a closer look at this can be somebody else coming into your life to kind of help you through that purification process to help bring and restore uh the nourishment that you have been depleted of or robbed of even don't um, rob yourself of having those types of moments and being vulnerable for some of you guys you really need to be by uh, larger bodies of water uh, because it has a very calming effect especially if you guys have issues with like insomnia and you can't sleep start uh, tapping into those types of tonal sounds um, I'm sure plan Pandora. I'm sure Pandora has those types of playlists that can help with insomnia, you listening to the water or just really physically being immersed in water, you know, when you take a shower. Let that be time for you to really strip away the stress of the day, the stress of the month, the stress of the year and allow that to be the type of ritual working with the star energy that you perform on yourself going into new moon phases right going into the waning phase you're not taking anything old no old baggage with you really use the water or use a bath you know if you're not taking a shower to uh really cut those cords of maybe some of these ties that you've had to these people that really haven't met uh well by you you know they they meant you harm with the wands energy because that is pretty potent powerful strong uh fierce energy you can get burned by that energy you know it's the queen of wands the next step is the king of wands you know what i'm saying as far as the minor minor as far as the minor arcana cards are concerned um so with this coming up for the month of may it's just a reminder to be gentle it's a gentle reminder is what i'm hearing uh, give yourself those gentle reminders this month allow yourself to Think about the possibilities for what can come. Um, as with expansion comes contraction. It's it's only right. And, and you see that with the planetary um, alignments is what I want to say. But aspects and what's happening um, on that level, you know, everything can really go well for a good amount of time for like months on end. But you also have to... Of course, through embracing that and appreciating it and being in the present moment and reveling in the goodness, you know, you have to also be realistic and understand that with the sun comes the rain. And so you will go through a streak of bad luck no matter how much good you do. Um, don't try to make it seem like it is your fault. Because no matter how good you are, no matter how good your intentions are, no matter how right you have been doing, how obedient you have been um, for the past couple of years, the past couple of months, your time will come where things don't make sense, you know, where you're not the star player and you're not in the outfield, you know, you have to be on the bench, you have to play the position of the water boy. So just really learn how to take everything in stride here but for some of you guys you just haven't been thinking big enough you don't want to um, put yourself out there and to feel afraid of failing and or falling but if your dreams aren't big enough right like if you don't set a high expectation of yourself then you won't even meet the bar of being mediocre in life, of being average, of being okay, however you want to describe it. Um, and so that can lead to sensations and feelings of dissatisfaction as well in your life and of guilt of not reaching higher. So it's better to always just shoot for the stars, okay? Shoot for the moon, land amongst the stars. I forget how that saying goes. But that is really going to be the theme for you guys this month. Think bigger. If you haven't been humanitarian enough, that also is coming through. So being more immersed in like 
uh, community service events and projects um, and doing things of that sort, trying to start up nonprofits or doing things that um, really are centered around brotherhood and sisterhood, you know, the archetype of Aquarius. So getting more in tune with that, but if nothing else, you guys are wishing for better or just waiting for that moment where you guys are recognized um, as the divine entity that you are. Maybe you see it for yourself, but others don't quite yet see it. But just because others don't quite yet understand the vision yet doesn't mean that you have to uh, give up hope because that is also what the star heralds a time of, right? Really believing, having that conviction and continuing to um, have faith and hope that things can turn around, that things can improve, you know, in a loving relationship, in your career, um, in your family life, on a spiritual level, that you can, no matter how far you go, especially if you've been off the beaten path, right? You haven't been on um, the, the most appropriate course and you haven't taken the most appropriate actions. It doesn't matter how long you've been without. You can always get it back. You can always start over. Again, you can always do better. So that's what's really coming through for you guys. Um, if given the opportunity to do right, do it anyway, regardless if anybody's looking or not. Um, you should never do anything for external validation um, or for how it may make like your ego feel in the moment. Just do it because you know that if you were in a position, whether you're up or down, you would want somebody to look out for you. Okay? You would hope that somebody would extend lightheartedness unto you in favor or grace unto you. So that's what's coming through. Um, but definitely in matters of the heart, you guys are hoping for somebody to uh, really reach out and to be able to have those small conversations that can lead to deeper conversations, that can lead to a loving, um, more honest conversation so that um, the love again can be restored because I do get a sense that you guys are missing on somebody missing on somebody yeah sure whatever but that's what I have for you guys if this reading did resonate do give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family subscribe of course why not and um, if you want to book a reading with me you can hit me up at my email here the readings start as low as ten dollars and then just go up depending on how many other people you want me to include into the reading right if this is about a relationship or external factors that could be influencing the way that you may behave but nonetheless right um if you don't hit me up by booking a private session with me um and you don't comment in the comment section below then just do take care of yourself and of your soul until you hear from me again okay ciao